the Chinese company DeepSeek just dropped an update to DeepSeek R1. Now, this isn't a minor update. The new and updated DeepSeek R1 jumps to the front of the pack, going head to head with OpenAI's O3, beating out in some cases Gemini 2.5 Pro. Sam, the founder of EQ Bench, did some forensics to see how this new model is different. While the original DeepSeek R1 was a lot closer to the outputs from the OpenAI series of models, this one is a lot closer to Gemini's. This may suggest that DeepSeek is getting trained on synthetic data now instead of from OpenAI, now from Gemini. And the race between US's AI models and China's open source models is heating up. At the same time, the Department of Energy tweets the following. AI is the next Manhattan Project, and the United States will win. Balaji tweeted a few months ago his theory on why there's so much open source stuff coming out of China. The idea is that they might want to take the profit out of AI software because they're better able to make money on various AI hardware. China's better at doing physical production. US has so far led in various software and AI development. According to Balaji, they want to do the same thing that they already did to US manufacturing, namely copy it, optimize it, scale it, then wreck the Western original with low prices. Now, of course, not everyone's on board with this aggressive China-US competition. The founder of DeepSeek and the team of researchers that he's built are incredibly smart, very innovating, and doing incredible work pushing AI forward. Some say they're pursuing OpenAI's original mission of having open source AI that's available to everybody. So just keep in mind that there's multiple narratives here. But whatever the case may be, the point is that the competition is really heating up. This whole thing is just getting started.